shut my nerves and you rattle my brain. Too much of nothing drive a man insane. You stole my will, why the thrill? Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. My name is Doctor and it's plain to see. I make them crazy round the galaxy. I make them swoon with my love too. Yeah, you're behind those 20th century, 20th century airplanes. 
certainly knew how to rock and roll. My computer is telling me it's time to move on. Sometimes it's hard being a intergalactic soldier of fortune, traveling through thousands of time space continuums. It's your praise, Lord. Gee, Dad, I hope you come back sometime and place my ass on sensation. You be sure of that. Next time I'm in this universe, I'll come right by and see you. But for now, you need to move back and say goodbye from a safe distance. I'm going to say go. Bye! Go! Bye! Be good! Oh, boy, this is so popular in the female life form. Control like that, you send my chips into non phasatory oscillations. My systems can't take much more of it, Dark Star. Pack it in, I'll report you to the Federation. Well, I'm sorry, sweet thing, but your lack of response made me wonder if you were still there. Mm, don't you sweet thing me, Dark Star. I'm not one of the intellectually challenged life forms you keep scattered on all corners of the universe. Just when I need a computer attitude. I heard that. And I heard your order for a systems check before blast off too. Internal systems are fine, but my external scanners indicate a large number of life forms in the vicinity of our spaceship. Where exactly are these life forms, computer? Down there. Gap and gap, there's hundreds of them! Are they uh, hostile? I don't think so, Captain. And guess what? They're earthlings. Earthlings? Yeah. I'm curious. They know where it might have come from. Mostly 20th century, I'd say, but some super dead a lot of I must warn you, Captain. They can hear you, so mind what you say. Well, I'm taking computer. I'll be... Hey, I just noticed someone else. Some of these people are mighty, mighty small. Yes. They're called children, Captain Darkstar. Right. Why don't you try to make contact? Try greeting them with a standard Earth greeting. Try... Hello, boys and girls! Yeah, okay. Hello, boys and girls!
Come on and love me like you love a sugar You're fine, so kind Wanna tell the world that you love my mind I'm just a rock and roll and love machine Swear I said the girls are really sweet And when I move, as I smooth Goodness gracious, grandpa's a fire I said goodness gracious, grandpa's a fire I said goodness gracious, grandpa's a fire
outside to open those cans of Romulan space beer when we were on planet Venus. I remember the hangover afterwards. Great, 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 great. Well, if you hadn't drunk so much, you wouldn't have left our toolbox on Venus. Now we don't even have a plutonium powered torque wrench or a sonic screwdriver to our name. Damn it. So we're stuck here. Mm, up the stretch without a sonic screwdriver to be precise, Captain Burke. How do you guys got a sonic screwdriver, Eddie? Yeah, I did. 
Well, if she could have my feral, it would be wonderful. Speaking of which, where is she? She's just coming, Mrs. Brown. She's walking with her friend Philippa. Oh, yes. Come along, love. Do stop dawdling. Hello, kids. Hi, Hello. Hello, boys and girls. Hello. Hello. I'm sorry, Mum. It's just what I've dropped my search on a pad on my mum's homework. It's got a bit muddy. What am I going to do with you, Beryl? It's not a good start to the week, is it? Beryl didn't mean to do it, Mrs. Brown. It was an accident. Well, never mind, Beryl. Just <coughs> tell us to bring your back to the truth and promise you'll do the work again. I am sorry, Mum. Yeah, for that little remark, you'll be the first on one of these four eyes. And I hope you've got plenty 
you about to do this all. Yeah. 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 Must say. 
like you on the staff. Well, thank you, Miss Cedric. Oh, call me Simone. Listen, we need to get together to discuss the exact capabilities of the educational <coughs> units here at Lickington School. Educational units? Oh, sorry. Business jargon. I mean children. I need to know where we're starting from so I can see how quickly we improve. We'll do a visit to the school inspector shortly, and I want them to see only the good things here at the Well, I'd love to chat, but I'm due to teach my first year's chemistry, so if you'll excuse me. Oh, ciao for now, Patty. <laughs>
Joe Sally said this week. Gentle and kind, not bossy like Simone said we thought crazy like Patricia Fox. I just wish she'd notice me. It's just that because I want to impress her, I get all nervous and clumsy. She must have gone such a little bit. Only I can tell her how I really feel about her. <laughs> Well, what are you 
in there, you'll make me jump. Well, I was just about to ask you the same thing. So it's be so insolent. For that remark, you can have an hour's detention every night next week as well as this. Now get to class. Yes, I can. Now!
sure. Now, do you think that you can help me make contact? Yes. yes. Okay, now I need you to help me make the special interplanetary signal. Now it goes like this. Oh. Why did you? But the thing is, it will only work if you're holding your left ear. So let's give it a go. Me. 
called his home. Wow! Just wait till you see this. It's a hologram spy scratchette card. I just have to activate it. Three, two, one. So I'm really strange. 
I don't know about me. Who are you? You're not our friends, and neither are your friends. Well, I'm Flash Barrow, for the Pride of Meridian. And my mission is to help Earthlings in distress. Oh, and this is Cyber Cat. Yeah, and these are holograms of the Spice of Flashettes. Yeah, we need a big musical group back home on the planet Meridian. The Spice of Flashettes? Right. I never heard of the Spice of Flashettes. <laughs> May I have a rock and roll, Maxwell? You like rock and roll? Rock and roll? Well, isn't that a bit old fashioned? Oh, hey, yeah. that's my music you're talking about. Watch this, stand back.
personality exchange elixir. What terrible fate awaits those who have drunk from the machine, and will Flash Barrel be able to save them? For the answers to these questions, and many more than we haven't even thought of yet, stay tuned after this intermission for the next exciting installment of Flash Barrel!
station. To the exact opposite is the normal cell. Is there anything like it? I wonder, boys and girls, does this have anything to do with the drinks machine? Yeah.
you'll be the eyes on it then, haven't you? Especially if our Romney doesn't improve. <clears throat> See? <laughs> well, come on, Carton. Let's race your old man home. Oh, I bet you'd get a come as well, I suppose. Mm. <laughs>
serve in his body contain high levels of a complex molecular structure which has behaviour changing properties. Why is he acting weird and that with the other Well, dear, your little earth has a fast metabolism. He's breaking down the substance very quickly. In fact, you should break up any second now. Oh, that's not going to be. But why? Why are the other two of you? Well, as soon as they stop drinking drinks from the machine, they should go back to normal eventually. I've also computed an antidote to speed things up. Hey, good luck, you hear that? Hey. Praise from the great dark star. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. You're quite right. You're not. Hmm. <laughs> but I don't understand. Why does Patricia Potts want to bring such chaos to living to school? That's simple. She wants Simone Cedric to be booted out, and she wants to be head mistress. Then she'll make everything go back to normal, and no one will notice her. <laughs> she reckons without the combined talents of. Flash Barrow! And Barrow! Yeah. <laughs> oh, and of course you too, computer! Look, I'm checking Toby's vital signs and I can't seem to trigger him to wake up. Even though the potion was all gone from his body. Well, what should we do now? Hmm. We might be able to trigger a response from his brain patterns using sonic stimulation to reach his subconscious. Sonic stimulation? Even music, computer? Exactly, Captain. But it would need to be something pretty mind blowing to do the trick. Oh, that's good, right? Do it. Bring this boy back. Let me a song for my database. Mm, I've already checked, Captain. And quite frankly, there's nothing in your song data bank that could possibly help. Oh, no. Toby's done for. However, I do have something on my own song data bank which might just work. Oh, no, you had a song data bank. Mm, there's a lot you don't know about me, Captain Darkstar. Anyway. Shall we give it a try? We've got nothing to lose, but please hurry, computer. I'm downloading now. What's hey. up? Come on, computer, you can do it, wherever you are. Toby's life depends on it. I know Cullum's mm, loving Oh, he seals the show He ain't exactly pretty He ain't exactly small 14, 39, 56 You can say he's got it all
Black and Patricia Potts is brewing up another potion. And it isn't compatible with your life support systems. That means you know who you are, and you gotta kill you, girl. Let's fight this evil woman together.
worry about Patricia Potts. And I telephoned the police. It was you that stopped the school from being blown up. Well, I had some help. Especially from your Mr. Pringle here. <laughs> Show me. 
Tell me where uh, things are. Well, oh, say your goodbyes, Beryl. It's time to go. Oh, oh, you guys, it's me. Tell me. I'm very deep friends. I'll never forget you, Beryl. Oh, oh,